it's good to see you. Today we're back in Dollar Tree, and I thought we would straighten some of the, um, the soap and stuff. And they have a nice selection of zest. Look at this. I have not tried most of these. We have zest for men. And you can, you can kind of smell outside of the box what it smells like. It smells okay. To me, it smells a little bit perfumey, but that's just me. Now, we have three rows of it here. Look at that. Oops. Just to kind of bring it forward a little bit. It's hard to reach the ones at the very back. Five percent bonus. I guess these are a little bit bigger than normal. Looks like they all are. The coast is as well. That's pretty cool. So they have two facing this way. Hang on, let me come back to that. There's the fresh aloe. I never knew there were so many different types. Oops. Right there. Yep, there's a big hole back there. What has happened here? <laughs> I don't know. Lots of it. It looks like they've been just, oops. Pulling up some of it, but not all. We could do, we could do three across the top. So it would kind of match that. There, there's a little hole right there, but you can't really do anything about that. And then we have um, Zest Lush Paradise. I think I did try this. I don't remember how I felt about it. Um, it has almond oil and fruit extracts. It does smell nice. You get two bars for a dollar. I remember we couldn't use zest when I was a kid because my mom has really sensitive skin and the one time she tried it she broke out in a rash so and it was funny because every time a commercial for Zest would come on TV, she would say something about it. Literally every, every time. It's like, Mom, we get it. You're allergic to Zest. I know. Every time she would say that. It's just one of those funny little things. She would say something like, oh, I'd use your product if it didn't break me out in a rash. I'm like, Mom, okay. It's going to be all right. Calm down. It could have just been that one kind. Of course, now back then, there was only one type of zest. And I don't even know. I don't know if it was... I don't think it was this. It wasn't fresh aloe. It was probably something like this. And it says zestfully clean. I remember in the commercials, the people using it were always just so enthusiastic. <laughs> How about their shower? I just couldn't wait to use their zest soap. We're so excited. Now this one is cocoa butter and shea. Oops. I have not tried that one. They're all, um, well no these aren't. These have 25%, no, it's 25% more moisturizers. I thought it was 25% bigger like a bonus size, but it's actually not. Above the zest, we have a nail polish remover. You have strengthening. Now, I don't know about everybody else, but I've tried this kind, the strengthening kind, and it doesn't seem to work as well. And then I usually just get the regular kind. And they have some that's 100% acetone. It's really rough on your nails, but it works really well. It removes gel and glitter nail polish. And down here, I haven't tried this one. This is Yardley Shea 
buttermilk and you get one bar in here it's 4.25 ounces I'm gonna try that what's that back there is that more yeah okay there's that and we also have oatmeal and almond in their little boxes oatmeal and almond Messing up the English lavender. I'll get it in a minute. Oatmeal and almond. I try to eat almonds every day. I know they're good for you, so I, I try to do that. Oops. There. Okay, now. Um, English lavender here. These are all 4.25 ounce bars. Okay. And then we have a new one. I haven't seen this one before. This is activated charcoal with bentonite clay to help cleanse and purify your skin. Huh. I'm gonna try that one. Now these can be turned either way. So you can turn them this way or this way. And of course, every box is turned the wrong way. <laughs> of course they are. Oh, that one's not. This one is Olay Ultra Moisture and has shea butter, 10 times more moisturizers plus D apostrophe hydratants. Well, it sounds fancy, so it must work really well. But it is. Look, it's wrapped, um, it's wrapped in plastic. That's cool. Of course, these are too. I guess maybe for the same reason. These are not. These are not wrapped in anything. Olay Ultra Moisture. We have two rows of this stuff. And it's all the same. It has shea butter in it. And then, um, oops, we could just continue the theme of, ooh, that one went nose diving all the way, woo, it went all the way down there. Come on, it's not that bad. Stay up there. We could just continue the theme of the two, because all these are just two across. And then we have just plain old Dove White. That one's open a little bit. It would do two there. And then we have Jergens Mild Soap. That one's that one's good. I don't really have to do anything there. Look how nice that looks already. Look at that. That's beautiful. Now, we have Coast Fresh Scent. These are, you can orient these. Oh, God. We can orient these this way or this way. And it looks like here, just to fill in this little space, we have some facing this way. Then we have these facing this way. We can do them. Yeah. Coast soap. And I guess we're going to do two rows here as well.
Okay, there. That's better. Now we get down here to the third shelf down. We have Irish Spring. Now there's one just sitting here by itself. I don't know if something else is supposed to go here or not. Um, I'm not really sure. 12 hour deodorant protection. Well, that's cool. Maybe we better leave it empty. It could be that something else is supposed to be here. I, I don't know. We've got three. They're stacked three high. We'll just leave it like they are. And then we have Dial Basics. This is hypoallergenic soap. Dermatologist tested and you get three small bars here for a dollar. That's not bad. If you have some, oh, darn it, sorry. If you have sensitive skin, see you could come to Dollar Tree and get three bars of soap that, uh, that hopefully you could you could use. And this is Dial Marula oil. I have never heard of this Marula probably saying that wrong. Marula oil. Gentle cleansing skin bar. Skin care bar. I have never heard of that. I don't know what that is. I have so much I have so much soap right now. Oh my god. I don't know how I have ended up with so much soap. It says it's a new look. I've never heard of it. One, two, three. Oops. Could do a third one of the dial too, just to have three there as well. Okay, it's a little wobbly. This is, wait a minute, this is dial gold. This is something different. Or maybe it's the same thing. I don't know if it's the same thing or not. This says it's a new look, so. I don't know, I'm thinking this is something different. I think maybe we need to move the gold. I think that's something else. I have seen the gold bars before. <clears throat> I think those are something else. Let's see. Oops, here's another one. And maybe they're not. Maybe it is the same thing. Let's do... Man. <laughs> gold bars. The gold bars here. I kind of want to try that. I don't need any soap, but I kind of want to try it. <laughs> uh, I already, I do. I have a bunch of different types of soap, and I don't use it up that fast. I mean, it's just me using it. So, okay. Now down here we have sugar soap. Sugar Soap Works Oatmeal and Verbena Soap. That's a big bar. And we have, well, that says it's also oatmeal and verbena. Maybe it's just a different, different type of packaging or something. I don't know. We also have oatmeal and coconut soap. These are hard to straighten. I don't want them too close to the edge, though. And instead of oil of Olay, we have oil of life moisturizing body wash down here. And Silkiance. Hey, y'all remember Silkiance shampoo? Apparently now they make body wash. It's probably the same stuff the shampoo was. <laughs> Ultra moisturizing shea and cocoa butter. Mm-hmm. We also have palm olive soap. You get three good size bars of palm olive. This is the classic scent for a dollar. If I can do it without knocking them over, it's not easy. Somebody's wounding a child over there. There. No, I know it's not perfect, but you see how wobbly they are. It's hard to do. There. That's, um, okay, that's better. So we've done this, this section here. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Yeah, we do have some gaps, but there's nothing I can do about that. Look how pretty. Look how pretty. 
Oh, but look at this. Look at the pump soap. This is just the liquid hand soap from Soft Soap. This one is Soothing Aloe Vera, which is always nice. I love how good these things smell. You know, they, they do smell nice. Most of them do. And then we have a Fresh Breeze. And look, you can get the refill of crisp cucumber and melon, which is really nice. I really like this one. I think I used this all summer last year, the crisp cucumber and melon. Do they have the little container of it? They don't. They used to have, you could get the little container of it too, but they don't have it right now. I think I bought it here. It was either here or Walmart. It smells really nice. Okay. Oh, and look at these cute bottles. They have little dolphins in there. That's cute. Um, that is Ocean Mist Scent. trouble reaching that one. They're pretty blue. I like the, the color of the pump. That's really nice. I got it. See, my sleeve is preventing me. I have to be careful of the sleeves I wear. I thought these would be alright, but no. A little bit more back here, hiding behind the, the clip strip of Cormex Classic Lip Balm. We also have sunscreen here, Max Block, SPF 30, sunscreen lotion. And you know, I've used sunscreen from Dollar Tree and it works just fine. It really does. I, I thought it worked. It did its job just fine. I have no complaints. So you could get, if you were going to the beach for the day or whatever, just come grab a little bottle of this. And I thought it worked great. They have the sport sunscreen. And then this is just a bigger, this is a four ounce bottle, but it's the same as that. You could get it for the same price. I don't know why you would get the three ounce unless you just wanted a smaller one. Okay. Oh, finger, finger paint for the bathtub. All my kids loved this stuff when they were little. They just take showers now, but yeah, they used to love that stuff. And bubble bath from Paw Patrol. That's cute. Let's see here. I'll just bring them up a little bit. Oops. Knocked over the sunscreen. And then they have the body wash as well. Pup Pup Berry. And kids detangler spray in a watermelon scent and they have wipes I try to keep these in my car for little sticky fingers you get how many do you get in here this has vitamin E and aloe and you get um, I don't know how many you get let's see it says down here oh, 20 that big 2-0 in front of me 20 of them and they also have antibacterial now I, I bought these one time I did not like these um, half of them you know they're all sealed individually half of them were dried out maybe I just got a bad box but half of them were useless you, I mean you'd open the pack and they were already dried out and they you couldn't you couldn't use them so, I, I didn't buy those again. But then again, maybe I just got a bad batch. I don't know. These are Clar and Danver big bottles of soap. This is some antibacterial liquid hand soap, which we don't we won't use at my house. Um, we just use regular soap. Oh, darn it. Hold on. I know why that was empty. That goes there. But that's a good size bottle. And they also have apple, apple fields, ocean fresh, and berry 
Delicious. Oh, and you can get a big refill. Look at that. Only for the Berry Delicious. But that's 23 ounces. That's not bad at all. But no, we just use regular old soap and water. I don't use antibacterial soap. again. <laughs> Cleanser plus moisturizer to revive dry skin. And they also have Inspire Premium. Um, and foaming acne scrub. I guess that's like Neutrogena or something. Has little scrubbing stuff in it, I guess. Foaming acne scrub. there's a reason maybe something is supposed to go up there I love this foaming soap I use this um, I have a type and see it's just liquid and you you push this down and it makes it foam and it just comes out as a foam I love it I use it all the time but it's a different different brand look at this pretty bottle this is spa soap aloe and chamomile that's a cool little bottle. I like that. And they have Dial Vanilla Honey. Honey. Cool. And here's a refill for that soft soap antibacterial. Over here we have coconut water and mango. Huh. I haven't looked at these in a long time. They have some different ones here that they I didn't have these the last time I looked. It is impressive, the selection of liquid soap they have. <laughs> so this is coconut water and mango. I bet that smells good. Seems to me, though, that'd be one I'd want in the summertime. They also have Himalayan salt, hydrating hand soap. I haven't seen that one either. It's like they've sold a lot of it. So that's Himalayan salt. And it's pink like the Himalayan salt. And what's this one? Vanilla and honey. This is from Dial. Well, they're all from Dial. Vanilla honey. It's hard to reach those in the back. I'm trying though. soap. Here's one that looked like it was in a car wreck. I think I'll stick that one in the back. What's this? Here's a vanilla honey that fell from somewhere. And then here we have the refills of the antibacterial. Refills and Jergens. This is just plain Jergens extra moisturizing hand wash. Here. And again, there's a space, but there may be a reason for that. I don't I don't know. We'll just leave it there. And they do actually have more refills down here. But if you're like me, you don't really think to look down here. I'm usually just looking at whatever is eye level. flower on them so you know they're nice see and then we have more of the car and Danver down here they have the apple fields refills I just think that's a fantastic deal to get a bottle that big for a dollar and here we have it doesn't even this doesn't even have a name on it it's just liquid hand soap tropical coconut scent we don't know who made it. They're not telling. Don't ask too many questions. They also have lavender chamomile from the same non-company. Pretty 
probably made by Doofenshmirtz Incorporated to take over the world or something. If you ever watched um, Phineas and Ferb. <laughs> My kids got me into that show when they were little. It's actually a pretty, pretty funny show, a little cartoon. It's actually not bad. <laughs> Let's see. Spa soap. This is the aloe and chamomile. Oh, look how watery it is, though. I guess it's supposed to be like that. Usually liquid soap is thicker than that. I guess there's a reason for it. There's that refill. There. All right. Look, oh my God, that looks so pretty. Look, look what we did. Look what we did. That's fabulous. Fabulous. You know they have more wipes. I think they're just trying to use them to fill up space. Antibacterial wet wipes. Hand sanitizer. This has aloe in it. <laughs> oh, but the clear non aloe ones go here. I just slide them over a little bit. Oh, kids love the dollar store. My kids do. They love coming in here. I don't know. My, my 14 year old, I don't think, loves it as much as he used to. This one's only 8 ounces. This one's 10 ounces. It doesn't say it's a bonus size. I guess they just at some point changed the size of these. Huh. A whole bunch of them are 10 ounces. That's weird. But it's the same, it's the same thing, but one's bigger than the other. These are only eight ounces. Nope, these are ten. Here's some tens. Here's an eight. <laughs> Either they just got bigger or they just got smaller, I don't know. Interesting. They probably just got smaller, usually when they get bigger they shout it from the rooftops, but when they shrink the size, they don't say anything. Okay. Oh, up here we've got Breck. Remember Breck shampoo? We have Breck Kids body wash, but there's only one of them. And then we have these other ones. I don't know where this came from, though. We're just gonna put it somewhere. I don't know where to put it. Put it right there. Foaming bubble bath. Watermelon scented. Or you can get green apple. Two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Since it's watermelon flavor, they have a tiger on there. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. But look at that. Look how pretty. Oh, my God. The whole thing looks lovely. And... Before we go, I want to look over here. They have these cute little containers. Look, it's a three-in-one set. You get uh, cotton swabs, little little wipes, and cotton balls. Cute. And then we have the little nail polish remover wipes. You get 32 of those from LA Colors for a dollar. Have nail polish but it's all mixed up this is 527 that goes up here it's very full 417 does not go there 417 oh it's way up there god these are a mess let's see 446 there's not always rhyme or reason to the way these things are up here. There's a ton of them in this container, although it says 504. We're going to leave it there. 417 again. It's 417. 
504. You're not 504, you're a 424. Oh, right there. Unfortunately, I don't really have time to do a bunch of this. Um, I do kind of have to go. I came here to get something. And, but anyway, check out what we did. Look at look how pretty that looks. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Well, I think it is anyway. It doesn't appeal to everybody, but it does to me. And I want to thank you for hanging out with me while we did this. It made it look so pretty. And I will see you again really soon.